Hi, today we're adding integers. So please look at the vocabulary with me. Additive identity. You know, I always think of the word identity. Like when I look in the mirror and I see myself. Well, in algebra, an identity means it doesn't change the value of the number. So if I add zero, I'm not changing the value of the number. For example, if I have seven and I add zero, I get seven again. And that's called the identity. And then additive inverse. In algebra, whenever we see the word inverse, that means that something's getting destroyed. So the way we can do that using addition is we add the opposite. So for example, if I started with the number 5, if I add its opposite, if I add negative 5, I destroy it and I get 0. That, those are called additive inverses. Okay, so let's talk about adding integers just using a number line. So if I wanted to use a number line to find the sum, and the first example here is 4 plus negative 9. Well, the key, if you're going to use a number line, is you always start at 0. And then the positive 4 tells me to move 4 places to the right, so I land on positive 4. And then I have to add negative 9, so from there I move 9 places to the left, and I end up on negative 5. So that means the final position is negative 5, so 4 plus negative 9 equals negative 5. Okay, let's look at the next example. This time, we want to add negative 7 plus 8. So start at 0, and the, pot, the negative 7 tells me to move to the left, to move backwards 7 to negative 7, and then the positive 8 tells me to move to the right, to move forward 8 spots. So I land on positive 1. So negative 7 plus 8 gives me positive 1. And look at example C. Um, I want to add negative 5 plus negative 2. So I start at 0. So always start at 0. Negative 5 tells me to move backwards 5. And then negative 2 tells me to keep moving backwards 2. So I end up on negative 7. So negative 5 plus negative 2 equals negative 7. Guided practice. Use the number line to find the sum. Okay, look at number 1. If I have positive 11 plus negative 6, well, I start at 0, and positive 11 means move to the right 11, and then negative 6 means move backwards 6 places, so I end on 5. So the answer is positive 5. Take a look at number 2. It says negative 10 plus 3. So remember, always start at 0. And the negative 10 tells me to move backwards 10 to negative 10. Then the positive 3 tells me to move to the right 3. So I end up on negative 7. So negative 10 plus 3 equals negative 7. Okay, take a look at example 3. Negative 4 plus negative 8. So I start at 0. Negative 4 tells me to move to to the left to negative 4 and then negative 8 tells me to keep going to the left until I get to negative 12 so negative 4 plus negative 8 equals negative 12 take a look at number 4 positive 1 plus negative 1 we'll start at 0 and positive 1 tells me to move to the right one negative 1 tells me to move to the left one so I end up back at 0 so positive 1 plus negative 1 equals 0. And remember, using our vocabulary, those are additive inverses because we've created that 0. Okay, look at example 2. Now this is really important. We're going to add integers, but we're not going to use the number line because I want you to get away from the number line. So I like to tell people to think of it as a battle, like a video game. Okay, good guys and bad guys. So take a look at this. Find the sum of negative 14 plus 5. Well, here's the situation over here. Negative 14 means I have 14 bad guys, and I drew little negatives to represent the bad guys. And positive 5 means I have 5 good guys. Now they're going to battle. And remember, every negative plus a positive destroys each other. So these guys destroy each other, these guys destroy each other, these guys are gone, these guys are gone, these are, guys are gone. And so we're left with 9 negatives. And so negative 14 plus 5 equals negative 9. 
And so they're trying to tell you the shortcut is when the signs are different, you just subtract. So 5 from 14 gives you 9, and then use the sign of the one who has more. You knew the bad guys were going to win this battle because they had more people. Okay, let's look at some properties. Remember, identity property means we don't change the value of the number. So the sum of a number and 0 is that number. So negative 7 plus 0 equals negative 7. In algebra, a plus 0 equals a. Whenever you see inverse, look at this, the inverse property of addition. Inverse means something is getting destroyed. So the sum of a number and its opposite equals 0. So 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. And then in algebra, of course, a plus the opposite of a equals 0. Then the closure property just means any time I have an integer plus another integer, the, res the result, the answer is an inte integer. Guided practice. Find the sum. Now notice how there are no number lines, so we're going to use the battle to help us. Look at number 5. If I have negative 28 plus negative 12, well just think of bad guys. Here are 28 bad guys plus 12 more bad guys. Well, 28 plus 12 gives me 40. I know there are 40 bad guys, so my answer has to be negative 40. Take a look at number 6. If I had 19 plus 0 plus negative 51. Well, the first thing we do is 19 plus 0. That just gives me 19. And now, notice how I have 19 good guys and 51 bad guys. Well, obviously, the bad guys are going to win. They have more. So when I'm getting ready to do um, a little subtraction problem, I always remember I put the number on top, whoever is going to win the battle. See how 51 is going to win? I put them on top. So it's 51 minus 19. That gives me 32. But I have to remember the bad guys win this battle. So that means it's negative 32. Okay? Take a look at number 7. When they give me a lot of numbers, I just put all the positives together. Notice I put the positives together and that gave me positive 433. And then I put the negatives together and that gave me negative 433. Well, you should know this. A positive 433 plus a negative 433 would destroy each other. And so that would give me zero. Those are additive inverses. Okay, take a look at this last example, number eight. Put the negatives together, and that gives us negative 756. Put the positives together, that gives me positive 306. Now look at the negatives are going to win this battle, so I put that number on top, 756. I put the 306 on the bottom, and I subtract because there's going to be a battle, and I get 450. Well, who's going to win the battle, the negatives or the positives? The negatives have more, so my final answer is negative 450.